Greetings, this is Calcat the Calcatster, and this is a quick review of two more episodes of Transformers Earth Spark. Um, moving in, followed by House Rules. No, oh, moving in. Moving in, House Rules. So I'll just put these two together, two episodes. Yeah. Technically, the pilot was one and two, so it'd be three and four. No, I'll just say three. Most of this episode takes place on the farm in the story, the Malto farm. And um, so it's Bumblebee trying to train their new recruit to transform our children that were created. Uh, they, even though they're binary bonded to the other kid, they kind of switch roles. A little bit and they get into trouble and there's like a baby cow and the cows all get out of the pasture so it's the lost sheep thing which they did in Secret Life of Pets 2 with the dog and a sheep <laughs> uh, and, it, and it's a semi-biblical story lost sheep gotta go rescue the sheep kind of thing but it's in the case it's a cow um so <laughs> anyway so um and uh, from the train that's speeding along impossibly fast, the Ghost Train. I'm not sure why this, the, the acronym Ghost Train stuff exists in this universe, but uh, one other reviewer on the, uh, another primal reviewer, another different one, uh, was going over the uh, whole thing and pointed out that apparently watched the whole thing. You can watch the whole thing on, on Prime and see the whole thing. Uh, when I got to the, the other two, uh, so far. Well, yeah, like the cow one is fine. Uh, it's obviously for kids. It's it's not so much a sequel to BotBots as a sequel to, to the kind of the Bumblebee stories, except they kind of go in their own direction. Because at the end of Cyberverse, it really didn't end at all like this. So yeah, it's, it's, it's little shades of the IDW thing. More than that. Um, it's not erosion. And, and, and this episode was definitely more like a pact being formed with Bumblebee. Uh, which would be very much like the Sideswipe Pact in, uh, in a Trance series. Yeah, very much like that. Um, and so you have that. And uh, that was... Uh, and they rescue the cow. Bumblebee rescues the cow. Uh, they try to rescue... Uh, uh, Frantic? Oh, what the hell's her name? There's Thrasher... There's Thrash... It's a bike. Transforms into a, uh, like a speeder bike, like a prowl kind of guy. But with a sidecar. And, um, moped bike. And, um, you know, the other one. <laughs> yeah, uh, frantic or skittish or something. Anyway, the kid's name is Mo. There actually are children as the characters in the story. Different. They actually cast actual children in it as children. Yeah. Which is, yeah. So, wonder how that throws off any copper acts on YouTube. Because <laughs> the actors actually are children. Um, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, the next episode is called House Rules. And then this one, the two Transformer children, essentially, get away, uh, get in trouble after they. Uh, Thrash the place, and then they they get grounded, and the the girl and Thrasher uh, run away briefly because they were kind of doing it. The brother was kind of doing that in the pilot. She's, and they encounter Swindle, who of course tricks them into thinking that he needs some help to go find his brother, um, who is um, who is a character from uh, Hardtop, the Hardtop from uh, this is from the series earlier. Um, yeah. From, uh, Transformers. Uh, it's Energon? Energon, I think. Cybertron or Energon, one of those. And also, Hardtop also appeared in, in my stuff, as well. So he's in, uh, all Transformers Much Season 1. <laughs> so he's in that, too. Um, so yeah, he, he, he's around. So, yeah. Him and the other three. Ew. But, yeah, um... Oh, 
Oh, and oh yeah, the bike is called the Rosa Nate originally, which is a nod to. It can't be a nod to the old the Planetcom ship because they would hadn't heard of that. It must be a nod to to uh, the the Rosa Nate from uh, Expanse, even though it doesn't look like a spaceship. Anyway, so uh, so yeah, the house rules. They they figure out that Swindle's lying because he's Decepticon. Just make the question, how's Megatron a good guy? And then there's this whole like, joke thing with him. We try to contact each person to let them know what's going on. And to disprime at the end. He had to, be, he had to know what was going on. His prime. But yeah, the, um, the, the Bumblebee in it is clearly uh, the one from the later one. Cyber reverse Bumblebee. Yeah. Um, more so than a car one. More so than... Looks like a bug one. Yeah, so the, the, the continuity is its own thing because the Great War adapted differently. Space was destroyed differently, so they were allowed to, they had to make peace or die. Anyway, so, so house rules, yeah, they, they get rescued by the parents at the end. Uh, they, they, Bumblebee rescues them from Swindle. Swindle admits that he's a bad guy, probably too soon, too quickly, but but, but, uh, but, um, yeah, Hardtop's, uh, arm has been ripped off. He's used to make a, make a mandroid into a different thing. There was a mandroid in Transformers Animated, too, so this is sort of a early version of that. Does this take place in that universe, like, 200 years later? Maybe? 150 years later, so it's before Transformers Animated? Or after it? It's gotta be before it, because Megatron was blown apart now. And he was a bad guy again. So, it's its own universe, really. I think. Anyway, so that's my take on those two episodes. Um, yeah, so they were fine. Um, animation's fine. It, it's a uh, it's a good show. It's 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 what it is. It's not uh, it's not trying to be anything that it isn't. And there there's your uh, review.